Hi everybody. So today I'm coming to talk to you about our new machine that kind of resembles our quick cooker, except we've kicked it up a notch. One thing about Pamper Chef is we always like to make sure we have a lot of versatility. So our new machine may look similar, but it definitely has more features to it and components that you are going to love. Now, if you already own the quick cooker, don't panic and think, oh my gosh, I can't invest in another piece of equipment. You could absolutely use both of these at the same time. I plan to use my quick cooker for my sides and this for my meats when I'm making a whole dinner and I never have to heat up my house with a stove. So I'm going to love that. Or I could whip up a whole meal in this and dessert in my quick cooker. And if you're somebody that is looking to downsize, you could always give somebody that quick cooker and add on this new machine. This is our deluxe multi cooker. And some of the newer features we have with this is the fact that we actually have on the back of this an on and off switch, which is pretty amazing. Um, and I just love the look of this and the dial. It just makes it so easy to use. Now, some of our new features we have, just like we had before, we did have the custom settings and we have certain settings for, you know, poultry or rices and different things that you're looking to do. So it's just a, a turn of a dial, which makes it so simple, just like our quick cooker. Or if you own any of our other electric products that also has a dial, like our air fryer or our blender. Now, the new ones that I am absolutely loving is the fact that we now have what's called sous vide. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, what is this? I've heard of this sous vide, but I don't really know exactly what it is. Basically what it is, is it's a water bath that you give to your meats or your vegetables or even fruits, um, all different things that you could actually cook in it. And it's a water bath and it will cook everything to perfection. It will all be cooked evenly. You don't have to worry about that, you know, a center is part of a, a meat is partially cooked and another part is still raw and one part's really well done. So it cooks all even keel, which I really love. Now, if you've ever gone to some of those big wig restaurants, you would discover that they um, do a lot of the sous vide cooking. And when it's done, you could actually bring it out of the water bath. It will be at a consistent temperature based on um, how long you're cooking it inside of here. And then you could sear it up on like a cast iron pan and give that perfected look um, to look just like a restaurant. We also have a yogurt setting now, so you could actually click this and you can go right into a yogurt. So making homemade Greek yogurts, regular yogurts, you get to control what you put in it, which I absolutely love. And then we also have a sterilized setting. So if you're a new mom and you're, you know, you want to sterilize bottles or for any reason you want to sterilize, you actually have a setting on this machine now to know that it's safe to do. So what I also love about the fact that we have now changed it to make it a little bit safer. I, we before in our quick cooker, we did have um, our steam release button up here. Now it's down here to make it easier. It still will release from up here, but you're not worried about touching it and then it being up there. So it's kind of just like your own kind of self um, safety. It makes you feel more comfortable. All right, so how do you use this machine? Well, this is what I love about Pamper Chef is we wanna make sure that we equip you with what you need. So you're gonna have me obviously to assist you, but we also have a deluxe cooking guide with um, all the information. So it's all actually color coded. So there's different colors at the top for whether you're pressure cooking, um, if you're going to sous vide, it's a different color on the, on the top. So I really like that. And then if you're gonna slow cook it and you're gonna use it more like a crock pot, we also have that in a different color as well. So it makes it really simple to follow with a bunch of different recipes. There's also a guide that talks about all of the controls, all the different settings, and which cooking method would be best for you depending on what it is you're cooking, what your life is like. Um, and it will give you that whole entire guide that you could look through and guide you as you get started. And there's that yogurt recipe. So today, I'm going to actually show you how I get started with this. So I'm gonna open up our lid, and this comes, oh, don't you love the beep? I, it's like your little R2D2 machine, right? All right, so inside, I actually have my water bath ready to go. So when we start to sous vide anything, with the water bath, I have to put this in ahead of time. It will take about probably like 20 to 30 minutes to heat up. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to say the word add, and then that's going to tell me when to actually add my meat in. So watch how simple this is. I literally just turn it to the sous vide, and then I just hit click my button in, and my temperature, oh wait a minute, let's talk about the temperature. So right now on my setting it says 135. Today, I am making New York strip steaks. You could even do roasts in this. I mean, literally, there's so many different things. It's amazing. 
So if I look right here um, under, ah, that's not where I meant to look. Hold on, let me go to sous vide. See that color coding is so super duper important. Um, it actually has a setting here and it talks about New York strip sink. So if you like it medium rare, medium, medium well or well done, that's the temperature you're gonna set it to. So in this case, I'm going to do my steak medium because I wanna sear it at the end. So my temperature is actually 135. If I want it to be medium rare, it would be 130. And then if you wanted it to be like well done, it'd be 155. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that because it's ready to go. And it says two hours. Now you might go, oh my gosh, it takes two to four hours to cook a steak? Who has time for this? Well, this is one of those things where I say, you know, this is the machine that's really for everyday use and it, it matches your lifestyle. So if you want to throw something in and set it and forget it, you could use like a crock pot on a busy day and come home and dinner's done. If you get home and go, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to thaw dinner out. What are we making? You could throw your meal in frozen and pressure cook it. So that way it's done fast. And if you're like, oh, you know, I think I want to do a roast or I want to do steaks or chicken or this or that or whatever it is, and you have time and you're going to be home, it's on a Sunday, a snow day, um, whatever it could be, you could go ahead in and you could set it to sous vide. So it really depends on what it is you're cooking, what time frame you have in your life to do this. But it's literally a little bit for a little bit of everything for everyone. So it meets the needs of any type of cook you want. And if you're somebody that doesn't know how to cook, this is even better for you because you don't have to thaw things out. You don't have to think about it. Once you put it in and you turn a button most of the time, following your guide on time frames, you're good to go. Set it, forget it, and move on. And the beauty of this machine is the dishes are so limited because you're going to wash that one inner pot if you sear something, okay? But for the most part, you might just have a pot to wash and a spoon at the end of the night, which I always love. So I'm going to go ahead and set that. We're going to let that start to heat up. Why am I not? Uh oh, oh! I forgot. I gotta hold the button in. Totally new. See, look at anybody can do this. So I almost forgot to tell you that. So you see how it kept turning and I'm like, why isn't this turning on? It's because once you're ready to go, you hold the button in and then it's going to say the word run and then that tells you that it's heating up and getting ready to go. So I know I have some time that this is not quite ready for my steaks, but that gives me some time now to prep them. Now, if you are somebody that does any type of food prep and you use storage bags, you could absolutely use that. You could, you know, prep your meats in there and throw that right in. I do, but today I was like, you know, I'm gonna thaw my meat a little bit because I wanna make it how I want to um, season it for tonight. So I am going to use our brand new bags, which have this amazing seal. And I'm going to give one steak to John. There you go, you can see that. And then obviously the other steak is for moi, so it for, for me. And I'm actually going to do these a little bit differently because I am a lover of soy sauce. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna marinate this and then I'm gonna sear it anyways. So I'm gonna actually throw some soy sauce in this bag just to add this flavor. Um, I think it's because I grew up and on this all the time soy sauce steak. John, not such a big fan of it, so I won't put this in his. But then I'm going to put in my absolute positively favorite seasoning and rub ever. Um, so when I tell you to order 12, 20, 30 of these, I really mean it. Because you're going to call me and be like, Vanessa, I need more of that seasoning. It's like a bad addiction because it just tastes so delicious on everything. And this is called the crushed peppercorn and garlic. So I am going to go ahead... And I'm going to season my steak. And I probably could have seasoned my steak outside with that and then put it in the bag. But I want to make sure I get every bit of it on there. So I'm going to go ahead. And then I'm going to seal up my bag. So now the, the tighter the seal, the better it is um, for this. So, But I you're able to use these bags in here. And these storage bags are reusable. You could wash them. Um, you could use them in here, in the freezer, in the oven. So I love these bags. I seriously was like, oh my gosh, like these are going to seriously be one of my absolute favorite new items. All right, so you can see that I have my steak in there and this is going to cook in a warm um, bath once my, my multi deluxe cooker is ready to roll. And then for John's steak, I am going to keep his and you're gonna probably go to yourself right now, wait a minute, what are they feeding their kids tonight? Well, the kids don't really like steak, so I don't know about your house, but sometimes I end up making additional meals, and that's okay. 
because I am a steak girl. So we're gonna have some steak and grilled vegetables tonight. And I will be showing you what this looks like when it's all done. Um, when it comes out, I'll be making another video and then I'll show you the sear and how it looks and then I'll cut into it so that you could see it. But I had to come on because I wanted to show you how to get started and you can see how easy it is. You don't have to be intimidated by this. Anybody can use this machine and we can train you, so don't worry. And you'll see that it's nothing to be, you know, afraid of. And I always say that when we get something new, we got to play with it. It's experimental. I'm not an expert on the sous vide. I'm still learning. So we can totally learn together. And any month that you decide that you might want to get this and make your life a little bit easier in the kitchen, you actually can snag it for 50% off. And some months we even do it for 60% off. But I know me personally, I am loving this. I've used it multiple times already. Um, we've done steaks in this and I was trying it out and they are so delicious, which is I'm home today and I thought, why not? Let's do some sous vide steaks and share it with all of you. So thanks for joining me. And again, this is our deluxe multi-cooker.